We just witnessed the greatest baseball series to ever take place in the MLB. The Dodgers and Yankees just finished a three-game set. And if you guys watched any game of this series, you would have seen constant action and excitement throughout. With the first game of the series, the Dodgers strutted one of their beloved offseason acquisitions, Yoshinobu Yamamoto, while the Yankees started Cody Poteet. Yamamoto had the best start of his career, throwing seven scoreless innings while only allowing two hits and two walks, giving the Dodgers needed length. Cody Poteet had a similar start, throwing four and two-thirds scoreless innings while only allowing two hits and three walks. Then the bullpen from both teams came out to play. Anthony Banda, Blake Trinan, and Daniel Hudson helped the Dodgers through the nine innings, while Caleb Ferguson, Victor Gonzalez, Michael Tonkin, and Clay Holmes helped finish out the nine innings for the Yankees, sending this game into extra innings at 0-0. Both teams had so many chances during regular time to score. Most notably, John Carlos Stanton had the bases loaded with two outs, and Shohei Otani had a runner in scoring position with two outs. Both of these big time hitters failing to make big plays. The game goes into extras, and the pitching is just incredible from both sides. Ian Hamilton of the Yankees strikes out Gavin Lux, they get Andy Pajes out on third on a ground ball, and force Shohei Otani to ground out. Then Michael Grove of the Dodgers doesn't give the Yankees a chance to move DJ LeMahieu from second base, getting three quick outs. Now we come to the top of the 11th, where the Dodgers have speedy Shohei Otani on second, the streaking Freddie Freeman up to bat, and Teoscar Hernandez coming up later in the inning. Freeman walks, and Teoscar Hernandez lines a double to left field, scoring both Freeman and Otani, giving the Dodgers a 2-0 lead. The bottom of the 11th comes, and the Yankees have their top of the lineup coming to the plate. Anthony Volpe at second, Verdugo up to the plate first, and big hitters Aaron Judge and John Carlos Stanton up after. Verdugo strikes out, Aaron Judge continues his dominance on the entire league and scores Volpe on a single, but Stanton and Anthony Rizzo can't keep this game going, giving the Dodgers a 2-1 win. That's just the first game of this legendary rivalry that happened this weekend, and everybody knows there's more to come from these storied franchises. The second game of this series comes around, and these teams start off hot. The Dodgers throw out their young pitcher Gavin Stone, while the Yankees go with one of their best pitchers in their rotation, Nestor Cortez. Both pitchers get shelled starting with Teoscar Hernandez continuing his hot streak with a homer off Cortez in the second, and Shohei Otani scoring Kike Hernandez in the third. But the Yankees vow to keep this game close, with Austin Wells scoring Glaber Torres in the bottom of the second inning, and Aaron Judge homering in the bottom of the third, getting this game to a 2-2 tie. Then the Dodgers start to take over. Gavin Stone goes scoreless for the rest of his 3 and 2 thirds innings, and gets much needed run support, having a homer from Kike Hernandez and another RBI from Teoscar Hernandez. Although only down two, the Yankees still believe they have a chance to get back in this game. Then the eighth inning comes. The Dodgers get the bases loaded with the best hitter of the series going up to the plate, Mr. Teoscar Hernandez. Teoscar sends the ball hard to center field, clearing the head of Trent Grisham and over the wall, hitting a grand slam to put the stamp on this game. The Dodgers rubbed salt in the wounds and scored three more runs in the ninth, finishing this game with an 11-3 win. The Dodgers are looking to prove their dominance to the entire league and doing it against the best record in the American League is a pretty good way of doing it. Now for the last game of the series. The Dodgers are looking for the sweep, while the Yankees are looking to say those past two games were flukes. Both teams come out with their best pitchers this season. The Dodgers with Tyler Glass now, and the Yankees with Luis Hill. The Yankees start the scoring this time, with Oswaldo Cabrera hitting a home run to the shortest right field in all of baseball, and Aaron Judge doubling to score Alex Verdugo to give the Yankees a 2-0 lead. The Dodgers tied the game up after a Mookie Betts double that scored young Dodgers Gavin Lux and Andy Pajes. The game's 2-2. Then Teoscar Hernandez comes up in the 6th. Hernandez continues his Yankee dominance, hitting his third home run in this series and giving the Dodgers a 3-2 lead. But the Yankees aren't going down that easily today. In the bottom of the 6th, Alex Verdugo singles, Aaron Judge singles right after, and Trent Grisham hits a no-doubter to right field, giving the Yankees a 5-3 lead. The Dodgers score in the top of the 8th, with Shohei Otani scoring on a Will Smith sacrifice fly, but Aaron Judge matches that in the bottom of the 8th, hitting a towering home run to left field, his third of the series. The Dodgers now come up in the top of the ninth, looking to take over this game. Gavin Lux hits a single, his third hit of the day. Kike Hernandez follows with a single and brings up the winning run in none other than MVP candidate Mookie Betts. Unfortunately for the Dodgers, Betts strikes out putting the nail in the coffin and giving the Yankees a 6-4 win. But what a series we watched this weekend. From outstanding pitching to towering home runs, this series was one for the books. 
the kind of atmosphere that was created from watching this legendary rivalry, I can only imagine what it would be like if we saw these teams face off in October. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later.